Hello everybody. I have decided to go live a little bit early here, frankly, uh, because I want to make sure I'm not going to have the same problems I was having last last week. Looks like smooth streaming to me. So, uh, yeah, let's start start fresh. If for nothing else, I can get some decent footage. Wow, that was bad last week. And then I had to cancel Tuesday's stream, which was terrible. Um, we had a uh, house appraisal. So we rent where we're at and we paid a lot of money for it. But it went well. And nothing to hide. We take care of our home and stuff. We just. I see we have a viewer. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I, my stats are never always great, though. Um, if you got the previous uh, playthrough, I am strongly considering, as you can see, starting from the beginning, because uh, my last stream was trash, and the frame drops on it were complete garbage, and it made it uh, unwatchable. Um, I still have my save file from the last playthrough, so if you're invested in it, let me know. We'll go back to where we were at, and... but I think uh, it's it's worth redoing that little bit that we did. I think it was only 30 minutes of gameplay anyway, really, and just not, not a good time. So we're playing the PS2 version, as you can see, From the personal um, log and of it Street looks Wood. just a little bit nicer Sometimes than the PC quiet, version, I'm sure I can still hear the somebody could mod it. It's hard but, to believe that it's only been a few uh, years been a since time, I first so washed I'm up not, on the beaches of Melee Island, my breath on armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have the suspected that such a humble BM pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost support pirate this, Chuck, as the slimiest slug ever to plunder the seven seas? Interpreter into their, their database, um, but it, it's got some issues, so I just decided to do this through a straight up PS2 emulator. Um, hopefully, ScumDM support means one day they'll have a point and click hack for it. Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly God, drag so. me to the mystery drenched shores of Monkey Island. Anyways, let's watch the intro. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island, after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of- Die, Rush! Uh, yes, dear. Uh, God, Ross! Stop daydreaming and make yourself useful! Have you ever tried to step on the shop last Oh, there's one. Little pirate shaped hole. All right, so let's look at some things. We all know what we gotta do right here, but let's let's look at. Things. It's full of hot coals. It's full of hot coals. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. Oh crap! It's the grated door to the ship's cargo hold. It is. That cannon looks ready to fire. If only I could get that thing to go off. Good hint. Anything else? I don't think anybody reloaded that cannon. It's too cumbersome to handle with just my... It's full of hot coals. That's how you kick a... knocked over the beer. It's full of hot coals. Crazy. It's too cumbersome. It's full of hot coals. I already knocked it over. Those years of hacking sack. Oh. 
Well. <laughs> Better not nice. try that again. I'm gonna try that again. Nope. He might not miss next time. I hope there was nothing flammable in the hold. I really hope it didn't burn any holes in Elaine's suede yeah, luggage. I'd never hear yeah. the end of it. God damn it, Kevin. There's a pile of red hot coals simmering on the deck there. Now I'm glad I'm we got the ship with the flame retardant lacquer the deck wood. Things, why not? I guess a hot coal just doesn't have as much as a cannonball out of a cannon. <laughs> nice. Alright. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Pick red hot chunk of coal at loaded cannon. Wrong fuse. You gotta figure too if you want to fire a cannon, you, you want things to go faster. You're like actively at battle, in battle at sea. Still require it to be touched by fire. But like mm, little cakes. Um, hey, Elaine, could you untie me? God, I wish this was this good when I tried to do this the first time. Things to do on Melee Island when you're dead. Push that smelly pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. Need the subtitles. Mm. I hope the loyal citizens of Melee don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my. As I've mentioned well, previously, uh, it'd be dangerous. This is one of my favorite voice actors. This is then there was the one of my favorite voice actors for a I sure taught him a oh. thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. <laughs> Just has a lot of character to her. Probably has the most lines of any of the games. It's a maybe challenge. So much of that is really public. driven. Be so draining. But. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the Which way we work no slight together, towards Alexander Boyd's uh, performance as well. Who's the, mm. the well, voice well, of well, Elaine well, in the majority of the Considering CMI and the the special editions, what? Um, where is everyone? Tales of Marcia. Maybe everyone went to bed early. Where's the welcoming committee? Pretty much the every banners, other. The crushing voice throng kid. of well wishers. Oh dear! Do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. No, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's that? Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. Previously, How are you, boy? Machine pointed out that uh, something unique to the PS2 is the Alpha Boy um, letterbox. Is trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? That shows up in cutscenes. Timmy, is something wrong? Which is not present in the, the uh, PC version. You'll also notice a higher poly count and Free grog at the scum uh, bar? just some smoother uh, joints and there's been an outbreak of scurvy. Like joints in particular. From it. Um, you won seventy four bucks playing bingo, but lost it all playing banana futures. Beautiful version of the game. There's, there's trouble at the, the governor's, governor's mansion. mansion. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, now there is subtitles. Interesting. There's trouble at the governor's mansion. Let's go. Let's try. Hmm. 
Let's try... 45, 7.9, 12... Fire! Fire! Ah! Fire! What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't knock down the governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. The governor's dead, ma'am. Dead? Was the marriage that killed that, I say. But I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy hey, your mansion you. with this here Yeah, uh, considering Something's how terrible the last the stream was, and I'm getting a decent frame right now, I do still time. have that save file, I can go to it, but I figure with how terrible this. that stream went, oh, it, 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 there's like uh, half an hour of gameplay, I'm going down to City Hall to might see as about well, declared undead. you know, and we were, Won't it's half an hour of just looking at everything in the meantime, I need you to do two things I don't know, if I'll take your vote on that, if you're... Okay, we'll start it over. We'll keep it that. And maybe later. First, yeah, I okay, to we'll do that. This Definitely. Insane Absolutely. boulder flinging. Stop the Perfect. insanity. Check. Second, I want you to because, go to Lucre yeah, Island. Yeah, to I'm looking at lawyers. just all green and decent frames and everything like that. So, oh, but I hate I'm talking to lawyers. Awful. Not as much as they'll hate talking to you. Because yeah, the last okay. the last stream well, was a total train I've got wreck, a resurrection unfortunately. Be good, dear. And don't forget, stop the catapult, go to Lucre Island. Sounds like the honeymoon's over. She was a lot nicer yeah. before she died. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? But I did a few Good. different things now in the intro. There, uh, like I kicked the, the coal at the enemy pirate and he threw a sword at me. And then I kicked it at the boat, and I kicked it into the hold, and he's like, Oh, I didn't hope I didn't burn Elaine stuff. No. Can I push it? Um, excuse me. What? It had been a long time since I I had really done anything other than just, like, you know, uh, lit the cannon. So I forgot about the pirate throwing the sword. Or knife, or whatever the hell. It, it gets very stuck and is not useful in any way. Hmm. Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm under contract. That's very cool. That's very cool. And um, I think I think I remember noticing the difference. Or did you have that up on uh, that up on your site previously before? Because I, I remember seeing a comparison of the two at one point. What would it take to get you to stop flinging rocks at my house? Permanently? Yeah, some kind of restraining order, I guess. It, You'd need some fancy the, lawyers the, it for It does that. seem like, okay, like it. How about temporarily? It, like well, my memory, sir, gives us liberal is, snack is seeing it on your sights. So that's why. <laughs> but no, uh, God, that, yeah. Oh, what are those numbers you're running? What are those numbers you're muttering? You know, I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, that'd be definitely... Maybe at the end of this playthrough, too, I'll try to, try to get... Uh, it up and running in an original interpreter of some sort and um, just you know pop back and forth between the two versions i'm sure that uh um i could get save files for right around that area okay that sounds fun too I'm messing around with the demo it's cool that there's multiple versions to to fiddle around with we haven't had a whole lot of that in the last few games so Could you show me how to hit the cactus? 
Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. Oh, come on. I want to see a boulder hit the cactus. No, I'm not wasting a boulder while the catapult's functioning properly. How would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates? I'd love to, but I can't. My contract explicitly states that I'm not to leave Melee Island until this house has been demolished. Cannon Guy Edition. Give us the Cannon Guy cut, where he does join the, the team, and it's Carla Otis and Cannon Guy. They leave with Cannon Guy instead, and then the game over just happens then. It's the whole rest of the thing. Not that I'm complaining, but why are you having such a hard time hitting my house? It's this catapult. Yeah, sure. I've never seen such a finicky piece of machinery. Besides which, it throws like a girl. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. All right. We... Hmm. Let's try 45, 7.3, nah, minus 11. You can look at topiaries. I don't think so. That pig-shaped bush frightens and confuses me. That is one fat bird. I, I still agree with you. I think that's supposed to be a turtle. Hey, I bet I could market this. Vegetarian steak. I, I don't... I don't see the... I, I, I mean, I can see a bird if I stretch, because, mm. like, you know, the, the pointy part could be a Probably bill. Probably want a fertilizer pellet? Mine is six. Hmm, looks like our landscaper has been monkeying around. It's just very funny that that's the exact same pose that the giant monkey is in when it's standing there. Yeah, they could have just thrown a, a basic leaf texture on. Because, I mean, if you look at any of these, it's it's got a leaf texture. That's, it's not... I imagine it could be very hmm. similar files, just Let's altered try. slightly. But I'm not going to claim to have insight on, on their artistic uh, process. That'd be cool if it's, a, you know. And and I noticed that too, but I did notice that the 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 um, arms and legs on that that monkey silhouette are fairly um, fairly stylized themselves and and sort of angular so it could be so say if we see that scene at the end just as a establishing thing and it's not the actively animated one maybe it's a painted object there anyways well we may see it later on or not but maybe it's just some fun foreshadowing for the later thing or maybe even when they drew that background they didn't even think that that was going to happen so And I, I think that's pretty cool, too. That'd be uh, cool to just have an area that you could go to for that. Yeah, yeah. Unnecessary space take. Well, let's... If I want to point at something, I'll use my own index finger. Yikes! I'm going to go through this and then look around. You pull. Do it in a different hey, order. Hey, it's mine. you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? 
Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with Lucas Arts. In any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush Threepwood? The cards have foretold that you seek direction. That's just really cool. And, and uh, I'm, I wonder if Ron just has any of these areas. Like, the thing, when he's trying to flesh out how the high seas combat works, I wonder if he compiled anything for that and has it sitting on a disc somewhere. Because that'd be really, really cool. I'm sure he doesn't, or else he would have busted it out during the playthrough with all the things they were showing, but maybe he's still holding some stuff back. Oh, okay. So. Hmm. Oh, I, you know. Why would they just unload everything and kill all the mystery? And I'm sure there's some stuff that we would be salivating over that they're all like, oh god, they don't want to see that. It's like, yes we do, please show, show please. How do I stop that weasel from hurling rocks at my house? What goes up must come down. But what's more important is where it comes oh. down. Yeah, um, like you know my what? house. I'm sort of okay <sighs> with that. To a certain extent, I want to have access to all of it one day and just be like, yeah. And be able to play with all of it and and the uh, applications they used for animating it and everything like that you know but hmm yeah yeah if they had it numbered implies there's probably another one and we know that there's more rooms that were definitely cut out of there um that could yeah, yeah, and it could have had some of the imagery of the entrance to the cannibal village visible to it for, and just, you know, because that no longer, yeah, yeah, and I think we're on the same trail there of thought, uh, is, is, you know, you'd see all this stuff, but because they got rid of that, and they weren't trying, and they tried to, you know, and they turned the cannibals into, you know, vegetarians not gonna eat you. That, eh. You know, and they had sort of an out because, <coughs> you know, the other places that had that imagery was the monkey head, which we also know that the ghost pirates live underneath, so there's an excuse for impaled people, uh, you know. Although we all know it was the cannibals. It wasn't the fucking ghosts. Half those so ghosts didn't want sure to do that. <laughs> be, you destroyed. know, be ghosts. Gravity is your friend. Use their own instruments against them. I always felt there had to be more to that giant stone head, too. Uh, because it was just there, and it looked so... Um, I don't want to say frightening, but you just like you didn't want to mess with it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm I'm trying to click on. You can see the mouse. <laughs> I'm yeah. still not sure how to stop my house from getting destroyed. Gravity is your friend. Use their own instruments against them. Yeah, it could have shown the area that had been cut as sort of like visible in the distance. And because that wasn't there anymore, and it wasn't fitting their presentation, it had to go. Which is a shame, because I imagine it's fucking beautiful. You're, you're probably absolutely right there. If there's a Vista 1, logically there's a Vista 2, or Vista Alt, or whatever. So... I'm still not sure how to stop my house from getting destroyed. Gravity is your friend. Use their own Maybe instruments against them. Maybe it was 
a spell that was done on the monkey head in the first, like, to just brainstorm some craziness. It, maybe it was a spell that was done on the head of the monkey robot at one point that actually made it into a portal to hell instead. And then when shit got all blown up there, it disrupted that and at least altered it to the river of lava or whatever, because he had already built up the like big whoop caverns and all, or whatever, you know. And so maybe the portal to hell got moved at least to his lava ride. <laughs> I don't know. And that freed it back up to be, oh, I'm this robot head. I mean, they sure did. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> Gravity is your Remember friend. Grandpa Marley? <laughs> oh, Herman. But, you know. <laughs> and I, not I, I noticed, like, uh, Tails just decided to not go anywhere certain things. any Anywhere near certain things that were perhaps, uh, you know, contested. I'm still not sure how to stop yeah. the from getting destroyed. It, it makes sense to have a third influence to just shovel a chuck who is your, them. you know, to sho shove your antagonist, LeChuck, into back in time to, you know, their, uh, to Marley's parents, you know, grandfather's time and kill all of those guys for some reason to get this thing. It, it, it. You know, it could make sense, but it was very convoluted. Uh, just throwing them into all these. Oh yeah, and I, and I killed uh, Grandpa Marley too. I sent him into a whirlpool of fuck. You know, it was trying to glue the Chuck to the other side of the book, Big Whoop, uh, Unclaimed Bonanza Myth. Um, uh, so yeah, I guess having this third party in in. Uh, I'm still not uh, sure how to stop my house from getting destroyed. Ozzy Gravity Mandrel is your at least makes it seem like seem like you've been dealing with Darth Vader the whole time, but here's the Emperor. You know there should I I don't know maybe that was what they were trying to do too, but uh, certainly I wouldn't say Mandrill has anything beyond influence in this one title, and perhaps in that story from back in the day. <laughs> I'm still not sure how to stop my oh house God. from getting destroyed. I'm just Gravity in is here. your friend. Use their own instruments against them. <laughs> I guess that's a point too, eh? <laughs> how do I get to Luker Island? It's a fairly simple procedure. Get on your ship. But I don't have a ship. Hmm. So fine. I really need Must to I draw you a map, stop and, then assemble your and uh, read some of the Tim Powers. Uh, this is a particularly on certain tides. Even in these economically you know, depressed times, you should be able to find a couple Island of competent to, uh, sailors. Uh, well, the secret then is sail to that Lucre sort of Island. But I don't know where to find Lucre Island. That's what navigators hmm. are for, okay. Guybrush. I believe there's one in the scum bar. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. That's very neat. Did you see on uh, the Discord the guy who joined and uh, says he's for ILM? If you look him up, he is. He did, like, the hair and uh, cloak grooming. Like, he did the hair in Jungle Book... He did the cloak grooming in Doctor Strange. It's a very neat, specific type of artist. And it's cool to look at his demo reel on his page. My mystic eye sees precious time My one question in idle chit would be what would you like to know? Is there a lot of fondness in your office for these old titles? Because he seems to be. For sure. Not a problem. Absolutely. 
I'm. Let's see, actually, let's just do that. Oh, also the LucasArts Museum is back up now. Freddy finally showed up. Uh, you activated my new account. I'm so sad to see all my old stuff gone, though. But not everything. Very little seemed to survive. Like, anything past 2010 or so seems to... Not well, more like 2012, 2013. Doesn't seem to be as available, like forum wise. Okay, so where the hell did I? When you have so many tabs open in your browser on the phone that it just changes from a number to a smiley face. Okay, I'm just gonna be... Relocate to the island of Puerto Pollo? I did, but I sensed that I was needed here on Mele. Besides, the incessant clucking on Puerto Pollo was driving me mad. To be sure, I haven't actually, like, to, to be clear, I haven't sat there and verified that he's working for them. I just looked him up quickly, uh, but I will send you the... Yeah, but if it's true, he's worked on some some cool stuff, and he's he's there. I'd love to. He, he seems to have a fondness for these games and for these older titles and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, we you pointed that out last time. It's funny how often that I catch myself just calling it Puerto Pollo, Pollo too, because I never really, you know, I never think of Plunder Island. The whole, it's you know the whole place is so chicken oriented why is melee island so empty that is an excellent question guybrush i thought so well what why is melee island so empty oh that about a month ago a mysterious overseas investor began buying up all of Melee Island from the local pirates. Those that wouldn't sell have been challenged to various forms of insult games. Insult sword fighting, insult golf, insult darts, insult arm wrestling. You get the idea. Strangely, this investor always wins. He's the best insulter the Tri Island that they area missed a, has ever an seen. An opportunity with Eventually, that too. Even the craftiest of Mele's pirates have been forced they to They lean too heavily on the the monkey combat joke ever to cover part of the joke. But awful. they had the insult arm. Why don't the pirates just refuse to you know, play? How many we pirates do you know that can resist insults, a duel? Sorry, sorry fighting later. In any event, they should have had it. The few they should have given us access to all of these, like, mini-games as insult this. Challenged by this foreign investor. It's the right era of gaming for all the weird mini-games that have nothing to do with anything, too. They could have done that. It'd be fun. Do you know anything more about the mysterious foreign investor? Only that he comes from a far away exotic place called Sydney. Sydney? That sounds like the name of a kid who gets beat up a lot in school. 
You've helped me so much over the years, and I still don't know your name. My name is not important. Oh, come on. What's your name? Do not taunt the fates, Threepwood. The truth of my name will be revealed when the time is right, and no sooner. Hmm. Maybe we were talking about that before, too. It's just... There's a lot of things to imply throughout the games that there's a hell of a lot more to her. Which makes the fact that it caught us all by surprise at the, you know, the suggestion of it in Tales and whatnot, uh, so much better. I'd like to talk about more important matters. Like what? Hmm. So this is like a giant hole in this. It's like the Australia that they're sort of trying to create and whatnot for him to have come from just didn't exist yet whatsoever is what you're saying. I sense that you wish to dabble in the dangerous mm. voodoo arts. What did you have in mind? Okay. Yeah, they were going in hard on it. The Stem, I think I even got it wrong. I don't think it's Stemley. I think it's Stemley now. But uh, either way, Stemley and Clark, they're like, no, you know what? Let's just use this entire game opportunity to tell Rupert Murdoch to go fuck himself. Like, what influence did Rupert Murdoch have in their lives at that point for them to even know about? Anyways. Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? Sorry, we're fresh out. We're expecting a shipment from Dinky Island early next week, though. Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? How about one of those invisibility necklaces to help me sneak into women's locker rooms? Those are nice. I am aren't probably they? getting yeah. the necklace of invisibility. No, it's been a bad year of unspoiled eyeballs. Tattooed on my neck. Just, I'm crazy like that. Do you have any plus 10 strength elixirs in stock? Perhaps. What are your current stats? Uh, I don't think I've got any. Well then, what good would a strength elixir do? I see your point. I could really use a potion that would make me yeah. immune to severe gas attacks. You're telling me. You're telling me. <laughs> Tragically, our shipment from Booty Island well, how is else also do you respond running to late. That? that is the response for if somebody asks you for that. I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it. You don't need a sword to send your foes into a stupor, my child. Yeah. Just be yourself. Gee, thanks. No, totally. I wonder how they were, um, how they were managing to affect the game development house that was under the wing of George fucking Lucas. Man, that that impl that just shows how much, uh, you know, political power that he had. No, not directly held but influenced right like I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it you don't need a sword to send your foes into a stupor my child <laughs> just be yourself gee thanks have you got any snacks I'm starving I left my gum machine in Puerto Pollo. Yeah. You might want to try the scum bar if you're really hungry. On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. 
true. I sense that your desire to waste time in pointless gossip has not been sated. Go ahead. I'd like to talk about more important matters. Like what? I don't need any... As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. I am very excited for this 3D printer, which should be showing up tomorrow. Um and trying to figure out how to get some 3D models out of, uh, out of Tails. I really want uh, to make a 3D model of their version of Murray. I think they nailed it in 3D. And I don't I'd have love a thing to my have name. that as a statue. I'm a little bummed to hear the anthology has been uh, delayed. Um, I do hope that they uh, they make an announcement or something about that soon for the people who, you know. Okay. Okay. Talk to familiar looking pirates. Ahoy there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Yes. Ah! Oh, so sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I startled. <laughs> you two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common-looking faces. Isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who looked like us. Ha, nice. Dudes, aren't you the founding members of Keel Hall, the world's loudest pirate speed metal band? Not likely. Neither of us can carry a tune. Neither can Keel Hall. Yeah. Are you sure we haven't Are met? Are you sure we haven't met? Exhausted. Drop it, Threepwood. Oh, shit. Hey, she how'd you know my name? Me. Damn it, Carla. Doesn't everyone know the name of Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate? True, but I still think you guys look familiar. Aren't you the famous comedy team of Youngler and Munts? Youngler and Munts? Never heard of them. You haven't? But they're brilliant! They do this bit about how men leave the commode seat up and, and how women love to shop for boots. <laughs> yes. And these days... Well, I guess you she know, had to be there. Who knows how Not Disney would handle it, but they do have a tendency of forgetting that they also have the whole Buena Vista home entertainment branch of themselves that created such great movies like Blood In, Blood Out, which was a uh, made-for-TV miniseries about uh, Mexican gangs and prison gangs, and, which is wonderful. It was actually a great show. I fucking love that show. It was awesome. It changed uh, the way I thought a lot of stuff. But, yeah, not everything has to be, you know, all happy Yeah, totally. I could swear that I know you guys. I really don't think so. Like, if they really have to, take the logo, you know, the damn uh, Magic Kingdom off of the Buena Vista Entertainment logo and just lean on that brand. Use it to put out Didn't some adult-oriented stuff. Monkey Island once? So I don't think so. Carla, make the bad man um, stop. He's come to take us back to Monkey Island. Carla? Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the Swordmaster of Melee Island. You bet he is, you huh? Otis. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Let it go, Otis. The half-witch recognized us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two-thirds of my no. original Monkey Island crew. We were always worried about Lucas Legal back in the day. Do you have any well, they idea learned all their lessons from, from Disney and now the, no. How the, is it to? the two escape entities have fused and pod um, well, if we get the, it's really difficult. the Dragon yeah. Ball the whole experience reference was very traumatizing. <laughs> into a, a new super being. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, well, uh, sorry doesn't feel uh, the narwhals, don't Buster. Don't fuck with it, or feel the pain of litigation. Although I've been seeing them being sort of cool with fan works of certain types, which is pretty cool. And I have to say, for anything I've ever gotten a content hint for, or anything like that, trying to put something online, it hasn't been from, like, Lucasfilm or Disney so far. I mean, I'm not exactly rebroadcasting their shows or anything like that, like people who who are reviewing Mandalorian and, and, and that sort of shit, right? Like, So what have you Rapscallions been up to? I, I want to take a moment here and uh, talk about Otis. So... I mean, we've come to the consensus previously that, you know, this is an odd representation for Otis. But I do like the character that they have here. Not as Otis, but as a good character. He's great. And, you know, the, oh my god, they're taking me back to my and it's, it's It's entertaining. I just, and, and I guess an element of that, the insanity of being stuck on Monkey Island, which led to Otis um, being that way. Uh, is part of it. So, I don't know. Does that give him the excuse for being different like he is? Because we made him crazy. We trapped him on a, an island. <laughs> I don't know. Won't you join my crew for old time's sake? Guybrush, take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys! That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about... Nice. A brand new car! A brand new car! What? Sorry, I kind of got caught up in the moment. Well, how about... Treasure. Boatloads of treasure. Treasure. Boatloads of treasure. We're still waiting for the treasure you promised us the last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how about... Some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island. Some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island. Oh, that's rich. Everyone knows that a mysterious foreign investor has bought up all the real estate around Booty Island. Well, how about... My undying and unconditional gratitude, baby. My undying and unconditional gratitude, baby. What was that? <laughs> Were you coming on to me? Oh, icky. Hey, I'm married. <laughs> then quit using your picking up Winch's voice. It's creepy. Sorry. Well, how about... I don't know. I'm not sure. And he does it all the time throughout it. But it was... It did inspire the one question I ever asked Dominic Armato. Which was, uh, what was it like as a voice actor? to try to do an impression of another character while in character. Um, he said, well, I imagine that's pretty hard for most people. Ultimately, Guybrush is my, it was his voice. So it, you know, ultimately it was just a matter of him doing a very white impression instead of trying to do an impression with an impression. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to ask that of somebody like Rob Paulson or something like, like one of the, one of those guys are, or, or, or the opportunity. I don't know if I'd be able to not just ask a bunch of Star Wars and other stuff if we got if I had the opportunity to talk to Mark Hamill. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, can you think of it? No, cushy, cushy government, government jobs. jobs. Mm, that sounds interesting. Carla, what, what are, are you doing? doing? What kind of cushy government jobs are we talking about? You know, the kind where you're paid three times the going private sector rate, no one checks your work, and it's impossible to be fired. Mm. Don't listen to him, Carla. He just wants to take us back to Monkey Island. We'd want contracts, of course. I'll see what I can do. Be seeing yeah. ya. Not if we see you first. <laughs> All right. I think it's only fitting that we should go to the skim park. It was the... Okay, I'll go back and ask more. Ahoy again! What is it now? We got some heavy-duty begging to attend to. So, what have you rapscallions been up to? Because I had uh, asked that already. Where to begin? Ah, but there's a hell of a lot more. Sorry. What have you okay. been doing with yourself, Carla? You mean Perfect. after I finally managed to escape from Monkey Island? You're never going to forgive me for that, are you? 
Not in this lifetime. Anyhow, I've spent the last few years here on Melee Island re-establishing my Swordmaster credentials. Well, that sounds productive. Oh, it was, until that Australian showed up. Australian? Yeah, an Australian real estate developer. He challenged me to a round of insult sword fighting, badgered me into betting my house. It was over so quickly. <laughs> Gee. Now I wander the streets of Melee insult sword fighting for food. It's so sad. sword fighting for food. It's fucking heartbreaking. Oh my god. How about you, Otis? What have you been doing for the last few years? Well, after I finally escaped it from Monkey Island, I made my way back to Melee Island where I tried to resume my former profession. Petty thievery? I prefer to think of it as proactive redistribution of wealth. Unfortunately, the indignities I suffer on Monkey Island have left me so jittery that I cannot pick a lock or a pocket without making more noise than a flatulent hippo. What vivid imagery. So how do you earn a living? Begging mostly. You'd be amazed how many people will pay to hear the story of the innocent pirates who were betrayed by their idiot captain. Whatever happened to Captain Smirk, the sword trainer? Whatever happened to Captain Smirk, the sword trainer? He sold his house to a foreign investor. But he didn't want to. It is very convenient. The investor convenient. challenged him to a round of insult gin rummy. It's a very convenient and way to him. not have to bring Smith back all the characters. Smith was so ashamed that he signed over the deed to his house on I mean, the spot. You wouldn't ask and anyway. the next ship out it's of It's reasonable Maine. to think people would leave. The same story's been repeated anyway. dozens of times all over Melee Island. This slimy investor strolls into a pirate's house or place of business, challenges him to a game of insult something or another, then humiliates them so badly that they have to cave into his hostile takeovers. Haven't you noticed all the sword signs around here? I think it's it's to the point where it's like, just in case you haven't noticed that every single person has had an issue with this guy. But it's the same. It was the same thing in Monkey Island too. Every single person had an issue with Largo. You know, it, it was preventing everybody from getting a head-on scab. So, well, where's the third member of our old crew? You mean Meat Hook? That's a good question. After we finally got off Monkey Island, Meat Hook renounced his piratey lifestyle and returned to his true passion: drinking, painting, painting. But the guy's got no hands. That's what we said. These stories are too depressing. Let's talk about something else. If we must. Be seeing ya. Not if we see you first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's cool. Actually, throw a save on. Ahoy, mateys! Buzz up, buzzard breath. Yeah, can't you see we're busy here? You're in a bar. You're playing darts. This is busy? Listen, we're playing for the title of Grand mm. Master Dart Champion of Melee Island. Yeah, and unless you're good enough I to think it would be awesome if they left a, advise that you an take EGA a window on a back door, a short door. Just in the background in the back. I'm a dart throwing maniac. Really? Back in grade school, they called me the dart master. Or something that rhymed with that, anyway. So, can I join your game? No. Why are there so many holes in the wall around the dart board? Those are, um, from Those other are, players. Uh, from other players? Yeah, we never miss a shot. Get out of here. No, Name it. really. Pick a number. He'll hit it. I bet you can't hit a bullseye. Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? I think I have the 
the I'm option impressed. to hit the balloon yet because I haven't even looked over there. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and I'll eat it. Hit a triple eight. Wow, that's pretty good. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and I'll eat it. How about a two? What's the master at work? I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and I'll eat it. Absolutely. I was just exhausting some options. <laughs> yeah, hit that one to make it hit the screen in the middle. Jesus, there's a ton of yeah. I bet you can't hit that guy over there. Ha! That's easy. Impressive. Most impressive. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and I'll eat it. Is probably? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I probably can't even. Never mind. I believe you. You better. Who's, Who's winning? winning? Right now, we're in a dead tie. Well, I guess I'll, well, be, I guess I'll be shoving off now. We don't Are need dark guys. Here? I'm going to actually talk to this guy. I never think. Hail and hello, oh master of all things grog-like. What can I do for you, Mr. Marley? Uh, Threepwood. Ah, right, uh, sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. I can't remember the last time I even bothered talking to this guy. This place is quieter than a crypt full of mines. Isn't it a crying shame? It's been that way since that Australian blew into town. Australian? Aye. A scurrilous Australian land developer who's been using strong arm tactics to buy up all the land on Mealy Island. Half of our I'm regular to figure it out. Is this off supposed to be no the same scum. one? Wow. The same uh, guy as in the the first game. The same cook. Do you know anything more about this Australian developer? Mm, not really. I'd surely I mean, visually he could be, my mind, though. minus the eye patch, but he has a fine scar to go with it. So, you know, who knows what time could could do? Maybe all that. Maybe he literally cried an eye out of his head. How'd you like to join a crew of courageous pirates on a dangerous quest? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Great, but I should really check with my boss first. Hey, boss! What? Can I have a few days off to join Mr. Threepwood here on a swashbuckling adventure? Are you out of your grog addled mind? No. I guess I can't go. Damn. Yeah, Do you know anything more about this Australian there. developer? Mm, not really. I'd surely love to give him a piece of my mind. Or the seagull that appeared courtesy of Luke. He needed. He needed some of the, the deck fish too. He went for it. But. You nice got any snacks? snacks? I've got some pretzels. Well, that seems harmless enough. Yep. The Scumbar's famous Kudu jerky pretzels. Ooh. Got anything else? Mm, not really. Okay, oh, I mean... let's have some. Sorry. You saw Don't what they did any. to the clam. What? Why did you... That drunk at the table Monsters. over there? He has the last basket. Can't you give them to me without a basket? Sorry. It's scumbar policy. Grog me, barkeep. Why, I'd be glad to. After you I show me some ID. What about when I get the gubernatorial seal of... But once I get that, it's like the Lua bars. No, wait. We still need it to recommend it. What? I, don't I look like I'm 14? What? Don't I look like I'm 14? Actually, you look like you're about 15. But we're carding anyone who looks under 23 just to be safe. Oh, really? No, really. Grog me. 
No, really. ID. ID? I don't get to show you no stinking ID. You do if you want any grog. No, really. Grog me. No, really. ID. Since when did groggeries check for ID? Since unscrupulous Australian developers started trying to get our grog license revoked. No, really. Grog me. No, really. ID. I, uh, left it in my other pants. Well, I gotta say... You change your pants, or you don't get any grog. But I like these pants. Uh, well, three then, foot. No his grog for you. Current, uh, costume. I, I, I enjoy it. It's just like his, oh, well, we've made it. You know, he's now, this is Mr. Mar this is Guy Bush Marley costume. I've got troubles. Like what? The government is trying to blow up my house. Well, that's a crying shame, Mr. Threepwood. Yeah, if anyone's gonna blow up my house, it should be me. Well, I haven't got a crew to take me to Lucre Island. Hmm. You know, there's probably a pirate or two hanging around that could be coaxed into joining your crew. I need a ship to take me to Lucre Island. Yeah, Garbage Marley Three Foot. Island Municipal Shipyards. I think it one? actually no, sounds no, no, pretty no. good. The whole place is run by the Harbor. If Mistress you had to add any more names Harbor to Mistress? any more name right. to Guybrush Three Foot, by the book. It it oh. works. It's an appropriate additional amount of syllables. If it the tender rolls. side is anything like the painting behind you, Garbage Marley. I don't want to see it. Garbage Three Foot Marley, not as much, to be totally honest. Ulysses, man. I'm three foot. Trying to see if that's too much of a tongue twister. Anyway. On second thought, I hate listening to myself whine. We'll go back to ask the dark people to be in our crew. Yes. Yeah, we gotta go. Uh, I've gotta go. Right, well, go out and do that. Hey! Get out of the way! Oops. No, I want to be like my my guy Esteban. Ahoy again, mateys. <laughs> Would you strapping young specimens crew. like to join my pirate crew? I would, but once I win the melee championship, I'm gonna have to go on tour to win the Tri Island Dart Throwers Championship. Actually, you will be able to join this crew since I will be winning the melee island championship. Mm. Says you, Swabby. I ah, yes, me crack because of the Krebs. The the Krebs joke. I sort of like it. <laughs> You know, we got these. We've talked about that. To that too. I'm actually going to be taking a bio break here in just a second, but I want to uh, talk about this first. Ah, but no, it'd have to be GU. Oh, man, his initials are G U T. His, his initials spell gut. I forgot where I was going to go with that anyway. Um, oh, the Krebs thing. Um, they're all like, not only is Catherine Krebs not who you guys were were hoping for, which I, I could have taken any, or left it. We didn't need to have capes, cat, cat, capsized. They just teased it that way too many times. And not only is that, but she's actually nobody, and Guybrush didn't do anything to her, and she's managed some other Guybrush sleep. Okay, but I sort of like that. It's, it's like, is a cop-out a cop-out if that was the design initially? I don't know. Anyways, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to be back in about 5-10 minutes. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not something we needed. 
Wally had, you know, moments here and there. So having him pop up even in the background sort of cool. You know, being in... Uh, I would love to have Largo back. I think Largo is somebody who needs a little bit more. Uh, it could be left the way it was, too. And just be... Whatever. Bye, Largo. Because, no, he doesn't deserve more. But he could be used more. For sure. There's opportunity. Yeah. Um, anyways, I'll be back in about 5-10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Let him at least, like, give a hint. Let, let LeChucky have got, gotten to be too powerful. You know, he's still a complete bozo, but he's a scary, powerful bozo. Largo scared. Largo delivers secret plan. Wow, that all just got too fucking dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I think you're, you have a good, a good thread there. That's awesome. And yeah, he could totally... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shove off. Well, I guess Sorry. I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Look at a balloon and then talk to him again. Look at balloon. It says happy birthday. Look at everything. No, it's probably the only thing this poor guy has to his name. Oh, I was just uh, commenting on him. No worries. No worries. I completely understand that, as did I. <laughs> um. But no, I was saying that I was commenting on your comments there, actually, about him being earmarked for uh, 3A, which, with the redemption storyline, was a very, very cool concept. It made me sort of think of how that could go. Like, uh, say, LeChuck has gotten just too powerful at that point. And, like, scary powerful, and he's still a fucking bozo, but now he's powerful, and, <laughs> you know, etc., and so even Largo's like, oh my god, and or he has like a crazy idea to destroy everything. Largo's like, fuck that, and like, I don't know, tells Elaine something. I don't know. You know. But the way I said <laughs> I had it before is all like then there are secret plans. And it just got very dramatic and it seemed like uh, a little bit too too dark. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe uh I, I would hope that if Ron never got the chance, he'd just go nuts with it. And, like, who who cares about it be, being, like, family-friendly? I'm not saying, like, he would make it, but a dark, dark tale would be awesome. And especially with uh, what he said about it being about uh, Guybrush going to hell and all that sort of thing. And I don't know. that. I'm not picking that up. Hi there, fellow swashbuckler. Uh, plastic. Plastic. What's the word on the street? Yeah. And how that could... That just... You saying that reminds me of Crossroads and just how that all sorts of... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I have to say that was one of my favorite parts of Tales. It's a shame that it only happened in in the last episode. Going going through a step by step sort of journey, almost putting yourself into LeChuck's shoes, just for a second at least, making you realize, oh. By the way, it sucked to be a zombie. Oh, by the way, it sucked to be a ghost. Oh, by the way, you're like... Yeah, yeah. Which is heavily implied by the, the cliffhanger... Well, not the cliffhanger, the, the, uh, it was all a dream breaker moment with Elaine saying, oh, I hope he hasn't trapped him in some horrible voodoo spell or something, you know. 
Got any more juicy nuggets of info? Uh, <laughs> How would you like to join my crew on a dangerous piratey mission? <laughs> we'll be searching the seven seas for sunken treasure. <laughs> I'll take that as a no then. I think it's it's like a green. It looks dark blue here. Um, you know, probably with a slightly more legible texture. You can actually read the happy birthday out. But uh, I do believe that it's a, a like a light teal gr blue green uh, in in uh, on PC. Not sure. Well, I, I mean, it does look like this this dark blue. Um, it's been a very very bit since. Uh, a very bit. Wow. Um, the last time I played the PC version, I actually played it through Scumvium. Uh, so, with all of its glitchiness. Uh, but it was still completable, so. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? There's no. There's no. We'll be pillaging a small coastal village. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? Hurtenford? Hurtenford? We'll be heading to Luker Island to meet with my wife's lawyers. You're right. That does sound sort of silly when I say it out loud. <laughs> this was a fun day in the recording booth. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? But Mazuza. Mazuza. Ah. Let me get back to you on that. Uh. Definitely. What's that you're drinking? Blue So, what are you drinking now? You came. Say, mind if I have some of your pretzels? You came. You look like a busy man. I'll let you get back to your self destructive binge drinking. I'm not picking that up. This fish has seen better day. I can't use this. Yeah, I'll talk to I Jesus. Ahoy again, mateys! Excuse me. Hey! <laughs> yeah. You're probably right. I think, uh, just... Being able to rely on a uniform uh, graphics render, like, oh, this is only being played on the PS2. So they can maximize what they got out of that. Whereas they had to worry about multiple different types of video cards and all that sort of thing. Uh, on the Windows platform, and I guess on Mac too. I can't. I don't. I'm not familiar with how uh, 3D graphics evolved on the Mac side. So. Can't hit another one. I bet you can't shot. hit another one on the first shot. Name it, and I'll hit it. That balloon. I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? He's dead. Oops. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, we we did ask them that again, but we we can. Are do you sure you won't join my crew? No. Nah. 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 <laughs> Are you sure you won't join my crew? No. Nah. nah. <laughs> Who's winning? No. I'll well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? I mean, technically, if we were exhausting all dialogue options, we also have to use the double ups as well, where it just gives you the short nose. So, hey. I'm taking the pretzels. I guess he won't be needing these anymore. We're not eating them. Oh, yeah, we are. I wish I had some grog to wash that down with. Hey, how's the weather down there? 
Okay, he's not. Hey, how's the weather down there? All right, Mr. Cheese. Hi there, scruffy-looking pirate person. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. What's your name? Cheese, Ignatius Cheese. How would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates, Mr. Cheese? And what, pray tell, might I be finding myself doing if I joined this crew of mighty pirates? You'd be helping a band of bloodthirsty brigands sack a small fishing village. Ah, that doesn't sound too manly. Any girly pirate can loot a defenseless no, fishing community. Great force. I've is was this game also cast by Dar Dargo Farrell? Um Hmm. That's really cool. Now I'm gonna have to look up his face, I'm sure if uh, if I was to see a picture I'd know. Who, who you're talking about, for sure. What big arms you have, Mr. Cheese. The better to insult arm wrestle with, Mr. Threepwood. Don't you mean insult sword fighting? Nay. While you were away, the insult sword fighting paradigm became attached to a host of other pirate pastimes. Paradigm? Well, nowadays you can't throw a dart or, or play a game of checkers without being expected to toss in a withering bon mot. I think I tossed a bon mot in a food bite once. My particular I'm gonna, speciality is insult I'm, arm I'm terrible at getting off I topic. To um, my bar I did notice uh, you, on Twitter earlier you were talking about uh, the executor and uh, the EU, and I, I have to ask, are you? Uh, did you follow... The old expanded universe and whatnot. I, I read so many of those books. It's ridiculous. I have. <laughs> Not closely. Okay. Um, it had its moments and some great characters. Um, um, yeah. You probably did yourself a favor. I should have used all that time to actually learn some other more practical things, maybe in regards to like real world, real world history and and, and that sort of thing. <laughs> I am often in awe of your your knowledge of some of this stuff. So, so I, I I instead read pretty much nothing but Star Wars and like Terry Pratchett and. Uh, I, I probably should have made more room in my reading for non-fictions. <laughs> oh, Are you sure you don't want to join my crew of mighty pirates? Well, I don't know. What kind of pirating would I be doing? You'd be looking for sunken treasure with a group of cutthroat killing machines. Well, what we're doing sunken treasure hunts are for thieves and scallywags, Junior. Real pirates keep their treasure. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew of mighty pirates? Well, I don't know. What kind of pirating would I be doing? Do the repeated long? Okay. Well, like I said, we're planning to plunder a piscatorial port. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join my crew of mighty pirates? Well, I don't know. What kind of pirating would I be doing? As I mentioned, we'll be scouring seabeds for soggy stolen shekels. Sorry, that sounds sort of stupid. <laughs> nice. Good call. Good call. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew of mighty pirates? Well, I don't know. What kind of pirating would I be doing? And Dominic was earning his paycheck that day. He's like, really? Did you guys have to write tongue twisters and... <laughs> You'd be traveling to Lucre Island with a crew of Cretinous Buccaneers to meet with my wife's lawyers. Now that sounds like a worthy mission for a mighty pirate navigator like myself. Really? 
Aye, the seas around Lucar Island are very treacherous and can only be navigated by a skilled sailor. I'd love to face that challenge, but... But what? I can't. Why not? Is your keister glued to that chair? Well, yes, now that you mention it, it is. But that's not why I can't go, Mr. Wizen Pirate. Well, then why? Because if I leave my bar for too long, it'll be stolen out from under me. You're the owner one of the scum bar? I, Takes the one, one and trip. only. He's not wrong. That's funny. I always thought the scum bar was owned by a guy named Ron. <laughs> I, he was the original owner. I won the bar from him in an epic 12 hour long game of insult go fish. That sounds like a humongous fib. Mm. Believe what you like. In any event, I've been fighting off a hostile takeover bid from an Australian land developer. Come again? You heard me. A greedy Australian is making is a that... grab for my bar. Oh, With guns on, and swords you... and cannons? I'm gonna pause that. So, um, do you think maybe that was the devs way of saying that like hey if ron wants to still use this engine you should just let him and leave him alone and you know that sort of thing because he, he continued with the humongous right That's... because they're moving on they're trying something new they're not using scum anymore they're using this right but, i don't know probably think it too much sometimes. Worse, it's with fun, insults, though. jibes, and mockeries. It's taken all of my insult arm wrestling skill to keep him at bay. Gosh, if it weren't for the whole wife being declared dead thing, I'd say that was the strangest thing I'd heard all week. Oh, totally. And it's cool that they got to reference a different game company uh, within it, and even give like Ron a nod in title. So that's awesome. Wait a minute. Your name is I Cheese. I Cheese. I. I'm sorry, but I just can't get over the absurdity of your name. Well, if you say so, Mister Threepwood. I'll have you know that the Threepwood name has a long and noble history. So does mine. very good chance unfortunately like no it maybe they have the attitude of the WWE or something like that we don't they can't be bothered to mention any other competing product I'd like to hear about the long and noble history Who are of the they to decide the legitimacy I, it'd be of the my product. pleasure Naturally, no discussion of my family would be complete without mentioning my great great grandfather, who single handedly I mean, to be fair, I don't want the Nacro's attention either. Who is He's that? Are you crazy. daft? Have you never but heard of Jack Chase? Also, I don't ride many carriages you know, in my line of work. Hopefully, Sorry. that was just, uh, uh, you know, wow, well, I'm about to use rest of the terms again, a work, uh, just to gather some, some interest. But the ad for like the skull vodka or whatever was pretty odd. But then again, he's a comedian. It could have been supposed to be that way. Who do we? How do we know? I haven't looked enough into it to really say. So, tell me more about. Tell me more about cheese. the family cheese. Well, there's my great uncle. Well, what's he famous for? He's a renowned holy man who remains steadfastly neutral in any conflict. Let me guess. Swiss cheese? I feel like this is ah, sort of an work. evolution of the good soup joke, too. Because, like, as if they didn't come up with enough food puns in the last game. So, like, I see your, your soup puns, and I raise you cheese puns. Tell me more about the family cheese. My brother is starting to make a name for himself. Really? What does he do? He sings depressing autobiographical songs. Give me a second. Blue cheese. You really know your cheeses. Totally. Totally. Tell me more about the family cheese. My great 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 aunt was legendarily ugly. How ugly was she? Well, she was so ugly that men turned to stone at the sight of her. Wait a minute. Um. Nope, I'm drawing a blank. I can't say as I blame you. Not too many folks remember Gorgonzola cheese. Oh, uh, I think I've heard enough about your family. 
<laughs> Damn it. Alright. Tell me again about this thing you call insult arm wrestling. I thought I'd made myself clear. It's just like insult sword fighting, but with arm wrestling. Ah. Is there something I could do to convince right. you to navigate my ship Let's to Luker uh, Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? I was kind of hoping that you'd cave in due to my incessant uh -oh. nagging. Oh, Kid, I've okay. been married for 30 See, years. I look over and so? saw red so there's one thing on my, to it's incessant uh, my output. Nagging. And I'm like, no! And, but it's like 8.1%. Not like 75%. That last stream was so... Bad. I'm glad I figure it was uh, one of a couple of services that was running in the background. More than likely, Epic Games, which I can't believe I even bothered installing. <laughs> the boy likes Fortnite. I was trying to throw him a bone. Then I'm like, no, I'm not putting that on my computer. And then I never un uninstalled. Yeah, yeah, it says uh, dropping a little bit. <sighs> All right. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to convince we're you to gonna, navigate my ship to Luker Island? I'm open Armor. to persuasion. What do you have in mind? I love the fact if I beat you at that they wrote like a ton of navigator? insults mm, for an this, proposition for as well as it included is? a bunch of, I mean, of other ones is. for throwbacks. Now, if you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great. But only if you teach me some new insults. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. Let's do this. Magic chair. Us. Come to me. Today by myself, 12 people have beaten. But it says you got it. It's like, you know, shut myself, please. You. Hmm. My 98, my 98 year old grandmother has bigger arms than you. I like that one. Let's do it. Uh, my 98 year old grandmother has bigger arms than you. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Yeah. yeah. Don't. At this point, you've done all the grind outs that you need to learn some stuff. It's cool to just sit down in a situation, know everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that the whole insult fighting part of the ultimate insult deserved to have more done to it. And for it to be busted down to that just to be, a, oh, these are the primal insults. Right? I get the reasoning for it. I understand what it is and what it's trying to be. But that's part of the game is painful. You know? And and um, I think that this, on the other hand, is a trope that could have been done over and over again in different areas to win over the trust of certain people and on the island and stuff. And you could have... Uh, to insult whatever the hell they're into, uh, and just sh give a chance for Guybrush to flex some wit. Your knuckles all grind into a splinter. Yeah, your knuckles all grind into thought a splinter. The bean dip had paste. a strange taste. I thought that the bean dip had strange taste. My 98 year old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Yeah, but we've both got better bladder control than you do. Yeah, but we've both got better bladder control than you do. Hey, look over there. Uh, hey, look over there! Uh, yes, yes, I know it's a tree-headed monkey. Your arms are no bigger than fleas that I've met. So that's why you're scratching? I guess you that. So that's why you're scratching. I'd go see a vet. Yeah. No.
I think there was room for the 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 Mortal Kombat part of the parody to be a a flash of a moment. The part where where uh, JoJo and uh, Guybrush fight, or LeChuck and Monkey Robot fight, sort of thing. There's the moment for a bomb and leave it alone. The only time you referenced it, call it something else. Call it, eh, I don't know. I don't know how to make monkey combat work. I just, I, I don't know. Yeah. My stupefying strength will shatter your own this into a million pieces. This is the one that my boy Damien remembers the most. Ooh, I'm shaking. Mm, only once have I met such a coward. He Not must have taught you, know. you everything you know. My forearms have been mistaken Maybe for tree trunks. The counter defoliant could help you with that. Uh, and over the counter defoliant could help with that problem. Uh, give up now or I'll crush you like a grape. I would if it would stop your whining. I've out-wrestled octopuses with these arms. I'm sure spineless creatures all over the world are humbled by you. Mm, I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. <sighs> People consider my fists lethal weapons. Sadly, your belt should Sadly, be equally your reckoned. Should be equally reckoned. Uh, do I see quivers of agony dance on your lip? The laughter caused by your belly grip. <laughs> it's laughter that's caused by your feathery grip. You're the ugliest creature I've ever seen Shots in my life. You haven't used that device. Oh yeah. Uh, like, I, I'm gonna say I cheeses. Give it, the the computer's giving them a run for my money. Like, it, uh, I'm gonna put your arm in a sling. He's giving up now. Oh yeah. yeah. He's giving up now. The game's yeah. like, no, no. I won. We're done now. You did. But Fair that one score. went on for a while. I haven't had you one last that long for a bit. That's, that's good. That was fun. Talk to Mr. G's. No, we Oh, wait. No, yeah. We're good. Did we exhaust all of that? Yep. Yeah, no. Hello it, again, Mr. G's. He summoned the yes. chair. The chair no longer had a purpose, so it, it, it disappeared from reality. It's been nice chatting, but I've got to see a man about a monkey. Our rented honeymoon ship is already pulled out of the harbor. Hmm. It's just as well. It was too expensive for short trips. Hmm. Interesting. No, no, right in the center of the, the life preserver. Not even a life they preserver will save what lies beyond that door. Hey, they stay out of the kitchen, you sissified sea urchin. Why don't people ever want me to go into the kitchen? They should have just put an EGA window there. The it's half full. Or perhaps it, it's half full. The owner wouldn't be too happy if I took that. Go deal with the catapult operator. Come on, catapult guy. You should have been our fourth crew member, but instead you just chucked rocks at my house. Now now I don't want you to be the fourth crew member. Fuck you too, catapult guy. I mean there's only like Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. 
the map button. <laughs> and I guess while we're here, we might as well talk to the Harbor Mistress uh, in widescreen. I'm Guybrush Mark Threepwood, <laughs> and I need a ship. How nice for you. And just He's what just do you want me to do about it? it. Are you the harbor master? No, I am the harbor mistress. My full title is Chief Assistant Shipyard Regulator, Harbor Operations, Melee Island, a division of Inter Island Transportation Services. Nice. Which means? Which means I'm in charge of ship allocations on Melee Island. Pardon the crinkles. Oh god, here we go. First, the very first choice. The very first choice. Oh my god. Baby, you can be in charge of my ships any day of the week. Baby, you can be in charge of my ships any day of the week. What? Are you trying to seduce a government employee? Uh, no. So, uh, you're in charge of the ships? Kinda snooty for a glorified mm. particle watcher, aren't you? You're just jealous of my cushy government job. It would be even better if I didn't have to put up with the likes of you. I'm commandeering a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. But Stan said I could. Name dropping won't get you a boat. I'm married to the governor. I heard she was dead. Well, she does have her quiet moments, but she's alive and back on melee and ready to govern. Oh, so she's just been on vacation all this time, huh? That's nice. She won't be governor for long. I'm voting for Mr. Charles. He promised me a promotion. You don't even know who Mr. Charles is yet. Come on, just give me a boat. The rules prohibit the shipyard regulator, that would be me, from lending a boat to anyone who does not have proper oh, authority. Yeah, we'll that would be on. you. I see a friend of mine. Open death for some stupid reason. take to get you to look the other way. I really hope that you aren't trying to bribe an employee of the Melee Island government. Not that I care what happens to you, but I really don't want to fill out the paperwork. Yeah. To be... To, this is sort of weird. Because, like, you know, how the gubernatorial symbol of Melee Island is the secret ingredient for all of it. What? Why? So you have to have been governor of Melee Island to use this ancient voodoo doodad. Or they just found it and acquired it and started using it as a gubernatorial symbol. I guess that makes more sense, frankly. Hey, babe. So I ordered you some food and I was hoping that it would be here before I had to go pick up the kids. But it's already left the kitchen. And, and you gotta go. Credit card. Okay. I gotta go. Alright. So, sorry for the super sudden stop. I have to go wait for the food to show up. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry. Um, I've got to... <laughs> sorry, I people. I didn't save. I'm gonna bash my head into a hammer. You didn't save? No, I hit escape. I'm because it, it wasn't your fault, it was mine. I You're still streaming too, they can hear yeah. us. Yes. So um I'm gonna get us back to that point uh in between now and the next stream. That was brutal. Um but Sorry. I do have to run at the moment. Sorry for the sudden stop. Oh wait a second, I should be able to resume. Ha Boom. Save. Save <laughs> Good, good. Yay, emulation. 
love you, honey. Woo! Yeah, I was trying I love to you, try babe. to do a yummy prime rib burger from Rosario. Mmm. Well, that sounds delicious. But we have saved because emulation. All right. <laughs> that would not have worked that way otherwise, but escape would have done. Anyways, all right. I have to run. Take care. Thank you for joining me, ATM. This was fun as usual. I'll be back on Saturday and um, we will play some more. Sweet. I'm glad I didn't have to do all of that again. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thanks again for watching and get you on the next stream.